Cancer, a very terrifying and complex disease. Join me as I unravel a biological paradox that has remained an answer to this day. Cancer is the second leading cause of death worldwide. It has affected millions of individuals. While humans have a high mortality rate due to cancer, some animals are quite immune to them. Whales! Despite being hailed as the world's longest and largest <laughs> living creatures, they show no link to such disease. They are, in fact, one of the least cancer-prone animals. And this is Pito's Paradox. <laughs> to start off with Pito's Paradox, Cancer begins when cells change improperly and begin uncontrollably expanding and dividing, disrupting the regular functioning of their biological environment. According to experts, a person's age and weight might increase their chances of having cancer. The older someone is, the more time cells have to change, and they become more prone to mutations. Also, the more a person weighs, the more cells are available for mutation. If a person's age and weight increase the risk of having cancer, then, why are the longest living and largest animals on the planet not prone to cancer? <laughs> this unexplainable phenomenon can be explained in two ways, evolution and hypertumors. Evolution. Animals evolved from multicellular organisms 600 million years ago. As a result, there were more and more cells and therefore more opportunities for cells to be corrupted. Hence, the entire group needed to invest in better cancer defenses. Whales, fortunately, evolved faster than other animals in several genetic locations. These were genes that controlled cell cycle, proliferation, and in-cell DNA repair. In other words, the process of maintaining a healthy cell, which prevents them from uncontrollable growth, or cancer. This implies that whales are more resilient to having cancer cells. Hypertumors are the tumors of tumors. If cells don't work together properly, they form tumors, which can reproduce quickly and require a lot of energy to kill. While they reproduce rapidly mutate, they think of themselves as another individual tumors, therefore killing the tumor in which they develop from. In simple words, hypertumor is where cancer cells kill other cancer cells. And whales have them. Since whales are larger in size, they have many duplications of tumor-suppressing genes. The genes that prevent cancer from developing and growing. What relevance does this paradox have for us? Researchers may be able to develop preventative methods and anti-cancer medicines that are effective in battling human forms of cancer in the future, if they can better grasp the processes at work in these situations. <laughs>